the Chauvet Hurricane 1800 Flex used to be the best fog machine that money could buy. The features and the reliability at its price point were unmatched. So I went ahead and I bought four version 2 units for a big show I had coming up. Then they died within a week of having them, and I was sure I had gotten counterfeit units, but they weren't. When I started about eight years ago in the entertainment biz, these machines were everywhere. All my mobile DJ friends had one, the clubs they went to generally had one, and I kid you not, I saw these things on touring axe rigs as well. Um, there was a number of reasons for that. Price and reliability, and that's what they were known for. So when I was gonna get my first fog machine, I saw everyone else using them and really happy with the results, so I followed suit. And this machine has been excellent, the Gen 1. So eventually I needed more for a bigger project. So I bought more of the machine that I trusted and knew. And what I got was something that was so different that I couldn't even tell if it was from the manufacturer, if it was actually just a fraud. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So in this test I've got both the machines hooked up to their own separate 20 amp circuits so they have plenty of power and I have them both set to the same DMX address. So we're gonna see which one... Oh, okay, there you go. 11 seconds and Gen 2 is already done. Um, I will say Gen 2 shoots a little bit quicker and seems to have more power, but that just might be because Gen 1 is nine years old and has been running for nine years every day. The Gen 2 units, um, I can't say the same for that I have. In fact, I'll show you where my Gen 2 units are after this little thing's over. To be fair, Gen 1 kind of cut out right there at 30-ish, or sorry, that was like 40 seconds. Um, but you can see it had a little bit left in the tank. Here are the last three of the four units that I purchased for that big outdoor show I was talking about. They didn't last a week outside. And now pretty much they're just part units for the final V2 I have that is actually still working. Say hello to the biggest paperweights in my inventory. At this point they're just part units, um, potentially fixing other things that fail. So aside from smoke duration, what are the other major differences between these two units? Well, the construction is vastly different. Gen 1 metals are twice as thick. The aluminum is much more sturdy than Gen 2. Every single plastic component on Gen 1 is of a higher quality. It's thicker, it doesn't feel like it's gonna crack or break. Gen 2, everything is cheaper. Um, the metal body, the plastics, um, I'm gonna assume the heater core and the pump. Uh, Gen 1 is a lot heavier. Gen 2 is a lot lighter, and that isn't always an indication of quality, but in this case, for a fog machine, it kind of is. So how do you avoid Gen 2? Well, very simply, look for one with a dip switch, and look for one that has 5 and 3 pin connections, and you'll know it's a Gen 1. Um, Gen 2 only has 3 pin connections, and they have a digital display. Gen 2 has a remote chaining ability, so you can chain the remotes together, but honestly, that's kind of indicative of who they're aiming these uh, machines at. So here's another problem with the units. Check out how the Gen 1 on the left can be aimed uh, 90 degrees straight up or 90 degrees straight down with ease. And that's because the tubes in them are a different size. Gen 2 struggles to be fully 90 degrees up and in fact it feels like you might break the um, water tube that goes into the heater core um, here, here's a close-up of what I'm talking about. So you've got a smaller tube, it's very, very flexible, and it's high quality in Gen 1. Now, if we go over to Gen 2, you'll see it's really fat, and it's like pinching, and it's hard to make, it's just not as flexible, it's not as good. Um, yeah, so you struggle to get those 90 degree angles with Gen 2. Alright, the final difference is tank size. Gen 1 is on the left, Gen 2 is on the right. You can see the size difference. Um, yeah, Gen 1 has a larger reservoir. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the, end of the video, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you've had a similar experience with your V2 Hurricane 1800 Flexes. 
Um, in my case, you know, I had these guys outside, which is, um, to be fair, hard on the units, but I had my Gen 1 outside. In fact, I've left it out for a whole month during Halloween celebrations. Guess what? Ten years later, after being manufactured, it's still going. These guys just don't cut it compared to the Gen 1. So if you're in the market for one, avoid Gen 2 at all costs, look for a Gen 1, and let us know in the comments below if you know of a great brand and product that you've been using for years that hasn't let you down. Because all of us here have very little budget and we need our products to work as hard as we do. So let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.